This episode of Monster Model Review, we take a step into the future of the figure modeling hobby with Maddie, the Mad Monster Modeler, a 3D sculpted and painted figure designed by yours truly and available as a resin figure kit by Escape Hatch Hobbies. I've always admired the variety of Fink, Weirdo, Loonies, and other caricatured figure kits that have been produced over the years. Way back in 1998, I asked my pal Andrew Ritchie to draw me a monster model builder, and Maddie was born. Flash forward 22 years, and using Andrew's art as inspiration and my desire to learn how to sculpt better in 3D, I watched Tony Cipriano's How to Sculpt in 3D tutorial and came up with this kit. After settling on the art and final design for the Maddie kit, I separated it into a number of pieces, printed them on my Mars Pro 3D resin printer, and sent it off to Todd Powell at Escape Hatch Hobbies to cast and mold. After making molds and casting up some of the pieces in resin, Todd sent a set which included some of the original 3D printed pieces to Phil Kupka, so Phil could do a little test build and paint up the kit for us. Phil is also a big fan of caricatured figures, and I knew he would enjoy bringing Maddie to life and adding him to his collection. You can see Phil's work and his love for the Outer Limits TV show on Monster Model Review, episode 195. Phil got right to work, deciding what sort of preparations might be needed to be done before starting to build. The 3D printed pieces were flawless, and the resin cast pieces needed little, if any, cleanup. The little paint jars were cast in clear resin, so Phil decided to drill out part of the center of the jars from the bottom so he could apply paint on the inside of the jars rather than the outside. Since Maddie would be seen painting a mini me of himself, Phil decided to have an open jar that Maddie would be painting from, so he cut the lid off one of the jars. Fanatical Phil says he always wants to build his figures to be as strong as a brick outhouse. So he pins together almost all pieces of his figures, and Maddie was no exception. After test fitting to see how things would go together, he drilled holes and cut nails to the appropriate length for pins. The print of Maddie that Phil is using for this episode is an early print. The kit looks exactly the same, but the connecting points for the arms are a little different on the resin model kit. Maddie's rear was a little rounded on the bottom, so Phil sanded it a little so it would sit flat on the stool, which he also pinned. Phil also wanted the tube of glue to look a little bit more like the tester's tube, so he drilled a hole at the end and inserted a small piece of nail. Next, he washed all the pieces to remove any mold release. Once they were dry, it was time to build. The Matty figure went together pretty quickly using the pins and a combination of super glue and epoxy glue. Once the glue was totally dry, Phil used a little magic sculpt to fill in the small seams where the arms and legs met the torso. He did use Tester's gray putty for the mini-me Maddie. Be gentle with the mini-me parts. They are tiny and fragile. Phil sanded the mini-me's back so it would lay flat on the hobby table. The table and stool were a little more of a challenge, but because of the prep work Phil did, drilling holes and making pins, those went together well. You could probably get away with just using super glue rather than going through all that Phil does, but follow the helpful hints for building that are included on the instruction sheet. Now that all the sub-assemblies have been built, it's time to start painting. But before you do, it's recommended to shoot a coat of primer over all the sub-assemblies, not the clear resin pieces, of course. That helps the paint stick to your model. If a kit has it, Phil likes to duplicate the box art that comes with the model kit. It saves him a little time trying to decide what colors to use in painting a figure. But feel free to use your artistic license and show the world how mad your Maddie can be. There are so many things that come with this kit, including some paper models that have their own separate instructions. So you can use as many or as few of them as you would like to personalize and customize your Maddie figure. Please enjoy more pics from Phil's Buildup.
I knew I asked the right person to build and paint Maddie the Mad Modeler for us. Phil did a fantastic job and made my work look even better, and I thank him for it. You can get Maddie and many more awesome kits at Escape Hatch Hobbies at www.escapehatchhobbies.com. We would love to see you share your buildups and painted Maddie on our Facebook page. You can see more monsters, models, how to's, artist profiles, and more at monstermodelreview.com. And check us out on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. I've been your host, Rob Madison, and thanks for watching.